welcome to this week's Power Of. For the month of February, I've been talking about love. Love for yourself. Love is what compels us to care and support others. You know, say your child uh, is hurt. You jump up and help them because you love them. Or your child, you know, wants another piece of candy or a pop. Will you say no? Because you love them. What about you? Having a love for yourself will help you to care and support for yourself. You know, just like saying no is part of being a loving parent, saying no to yourself is also part of loving you. We also need to say no to ourselves sometimes. No to so many different things. No to the idea of perfectionism. Let go of perfectionism. You know, sometimes we see people on TV or in magazines and we think, oh, I wish I looked like that or look at, she has the perfect body or he has all these muscles. You know what? The people on the TV and the magazines don't even look like that. Everything is so photoshopped and cropped. They don't even look like that. So let go of the idea of perfectionism, trying to hold yourself to this impossible standard. Sometimes we need to say no to trying to be perfect. Another thing we need to let go of is negative self-talk. And I talked about that last week, about being careful what you say because you hear yourself. Say no to negative self-talk. We can get into this habit of dissecting every little thing about ourselves that we don't like. Um, you know, just think, how would the world change if each one of us hyper-focused and thought about all the good things about ourselves instead of always nitpicking at ourselves and thinking about all the negative stuff? We also need to say no to our unhealthy choices, to bad habits, to, you know, making bad food choices, to being lazy, to not doing things that are going to take us towards our goals, to doing things that are taking us away from our goals. It's time to say no. And saying no is not usually an easy thing to do. And it's usually not ever an easy thing to hear. But we have to do that for ourselves. Saying no is just a form of showing love and support to yourself. Saying no to the negative so that you have room for the positive. I believe that we should always be working to improve and, you know, do better for ourselves and to improve ourselves. But in the midst of that, we also need to love ourselves and accept ourselves, even the things that we don't like about ourselves. We need to take time to show love to ourselves. And a big part of that is saying no sometimes. So I encourage you to take a look at the things that you are doing and if they're not taking you closer to your goals, then maybe it's time for you to say no in a loving, kind way. No to the things that are taking you away from your goals. And use that as a way of showing love to yourself. Thanks for watching. Have a great week.